Hello everyone, today we will cook pasta in one minute, in one hour, in one day. But many will you say, you recently did it in the case of noodles, and isn't it the same thing? No, the fact is that noodles were invented in China and are cooked in an Asian style with different sweet and sour sauces. But pasta was invented in Italy. It is prepared for European taste, for example with cream or tomato paste. But technically speaking, they use a different flour. Noodles are made from soft wheat varieties, and Italian pasta, on the contrary, from hard ones. And it's even healthier because they contain more plant proteins, fibers, and minerals. And there are just a huge number of different forms of pasta. What is pasta in general? Now the minute is up. Pour the vermicelli into a bowl, add salt, and pour boiling water in. Pop it into the microwave for 50 seconds. While they're cooking, grate some cheddar cheese. That's it, the vermicelli is cooked. Now we just need to mix in the cheese. The easiest ever cheese pasta is ready in one minute. Now let's try it. Really good, ordinary macaroni and cheese. Let's cook pasta in an hour. Pour olive oil into a blender. Throw in some fresh spinach. And blend it. We will add all this and pour a special flour in for the pasta. Mix this all up until we get a dough-like state. We pour this all out on the table and connect it with our hands like into a ball. Wrap the spinach dough in some cling wrap. And after 20 minutes in the fridge, take it back out. With a rolling pin, we roll it out a little bit. And then we'll use a dough rolling machine. The first round is done. Now we reduce the gap between the rollers and make the dough layer thinner and longer. For the next round, we need the help of a second person because the dough is already really long. It's time to cut into the spaghetti. Done. Now we send it on to cook. Freshly made noodles cook for literally two minutes. And then are drained through a colander. For the filling, crush three cloves of garlic. Finely chop spinach. And let's take a piece of salmon. Take out the bones from it. And cut it. First into strips. And then into cubes. Throw some garlic into a frying pan and it should be flavored olive oil. Fry our redfish on it. As soon as a crust appears, pour in the cream. Add some dry basil, spinach, grated Parmesan cheese, black pepper, and of course, salt. Now let's put our spinach spaghetti in the frying pan and mix it all together. 
That's it, you can pour it all into a bowl. At this point, the spinach cream pasta with salmon is ready. Let's try it. Oh yeah, this is way tastier than the pasta that we made in one minute. And so now we have a whole day to prepare the last pasta. For the filling, we will use ostrich meat. We transfer it into a bowl. Create some lemon zest on top. And squeeze out the juice from the same lemon. Add a couple of sprigs of thyme. And you will also need red wine. We open it up. And pour out the whole bottle. Cover with food wrap so the foreign odors don't penetrate the meat. And put it in the fridge to marinate for five hours. We will cook ostrich meat in a salted cocoon, so we pour three packs of salt into a gastric capacity. Pour in some water. And mix, so that all the salt gets wet. And now we take the third part on the baking sheet. And level it out so that the bottom works out. The ostrich meat has already been pickled, so we transfer it into the salt. Time will still give its flavor. And from above, we form a cocoon of salt. Everything is sent into the oven at 180 degrees. After three hours, you can get it out. And now we open her up. Now we transfer the meat to the board. And we tear the ostrich meat into fibers. The salt has sucked the moisture out of the meat and now it's very rich. We will need these fibers later, and now we will make some pasta. Pour some flour onto the table, and make a small crater in it. You will also need an ostrich egg. Carefully break this shell. And remove it. Now we remove the film. And now, as carefully as possible, we take out the ostrich yolk with the ladle so as not to damage it. And put it into the flour. Now you can break it up. It turns out that the ostrich yolk is much thicker than a chicken egg. Add a little bit of tomato paste. Salt, olive oil, and knead the dough. Done. We also wrap this in film and give it a little bit of rest. We dust the table with the flour, cut off half the dough, and roll it out with a rolling pin. We level the dough layer to make a rectangle. And cut it into squares. We're gonna use a special ribbed board like this. We put a square of dough on it, wind it on a stick, and pressing, scroll it across so that the groves are imprinted. 
The first pasta is ready. We repeat this many more times. Done. The pasta of this shape is called a feather. Now for the sauce, cut some onion into cubes and fry them up in a frying pan. Once the onion has become soft, add some tomato paste and fry another minute. That's it, now pour this all into a blender. Throw in some cherry tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, salt, basil, and thyme into a baking tray. That's it, we send all this back into the bake in the oven. 40 minutes at 200 degrees. And pour all this into a blender. We're gonna turn this all into one homogenous tomato sauce. Done. Pour this all into a frying pan and add in the ostrich fibers. It remains to boil our homemade pasta. Cook for literally three minutes and throw them into the frying pan. Now you just gotta gently mix all these ingredients with the spatula. Done. You can put this all on the plate. And now just grate some Parmesan cheese on top. That's it, our one day pasta is ready. Let's try it. Okay, this is totally restaurant level. Perhaps this is the most delicious tomato sauce that I've ever made. Super soft pasta in saturated ostrich fibers. Write in the comments, what else can I cook in one minute, in one hour, in one day? Like and subscribe to this channel, you guys. Bye, everybody.